Hi, my name is Yi Xuan, and I will briefly introduce our joint work with Nick and Ren Fei on the bitter selection problem. The bitter selection is a problem faced by modern online advertising companies. When a user search comes, the company needs to choose some ads from n advertisers to display. The criterion of selection is called the auction score, which is computed from various factors by a large machine learning model. This machine learning model is usually very slow, given that the search results must appear within a few milliseconds. Uh, depending on the advertising scenario, demand-side platforms bidding on an ad exchange or private advertisers bidding on a demand-side platform, the number of advertisers in can be in hundreds or thousands. In practice, companies handle this problem by a two-stage selection. It first filters out all but K advertisers by running a faster and less accurate model, and then it runs a proper auction in the remaining ones. Mathematically, the underlying selection for the single item auction format can be described as a fundamental K-max problem, which asks to select K distributions out of N and maximize the expectation of the maximum of the selected variables. We also consider a more general position auction format where the goal is still to choose k distributions and maximize the social welfare. To approach this problem, we propose a new continuous relaxation of the k-max problem's objective, which is a nicely structured concave function and can be easily optimized. Our relaxation approaches the exact objective as the parameter k grows. Moreover, it also works for the more general position auctions. This leads to an implementable p-task for both k-max and the bidder selection problem in position auctions. And yes, we implemented our algorithm for the position auction problem, and we tested it against several benchmark algorithms including greedy and local search. On large instance sizes, the benchmarks took more than one day, but our algorithm only took 45 seconds, while achieving over 99% welfare of the best performing benchmark. This was in stark contrast with previous PETA solutions to the K-Max problem, which would take years to achieve a relatively small approximation error on any practical instance. Thanks for listening.